Self Love is the New Sexy, the podcast devoted to helping you overcome life's most painful and stubborn challenges so you can feel great, have more energy, and live stress free every day. To reach your full potential, simply work with the powerful spiritual principles that are readily accessible to everyone. It's easier than you think. And on today's show, W. Mark Watts is going to show you how starting with self-love is the key to joyously and harmoniously making that happen. Hey, everybody. It's W. Mark Watts. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for another episode of Self-Love is the New Sexy. And today's episode, I'm going to keep it nice and tight. Not going to be too long, but I think it's super powerful, and I know it's something that's top of mind for me right now, so maybe it will be for you as well. And what am I talking about? It is listen and follow your dreams. Listen to and follow your dreams. There's a reason why you have those dreams, because those are things that your heart truly desires. And dreams come in all different shapes and sizes you know some dreams that we have are more in the short term some are in the longer term some are small dreams some are big dreams some come to us overnight or or when we take a nap some come to us in daydreams but they're all dreams and they're all desires they're just basically whispers from your heart saying I want to try that, or I want to do that, or it would be nice to be like that, or I want to feel that, or I want to be a part of that. Those are just simple whispers from your heart. And what we do oftentimes that is not necessarily in our best interest is we disregard or we don't listen to them, we don't honor them, and most importantly, We don't ever really reach for them. We don't ever really set our minds toward those goals, toward those dreams. We don't ever, ever take a stand. You know, oftentimes we'll we'll pay lip service to it. We'll talk about wanting, doing, being. But then when it comes time to actually do the work, to actually move toward them consistently without giving up, that's where we have a little trouble, myself included. So the reason why this is top of mind for me is I knew this time I was feeling, starting to feel funny. And by funny, I mean I was starting to feel like there was newness spurring up in me. There was just, I was getting fidgety. I was getting restless. And when I get that way consistently, that means there's something new stirring up in me. There's some changes. There's, there's really something that wants to come out that it's time for it to come out. And I've been really into, been thinking about traveling, thinking about moving. And recently, I would say over the past year, I've been traveling to Florida, South Florida, more specifically, more so than ever before in my life. And I've actually fallen in love with South Florida. So I've been thinking to myself, And I had been in the past, you know, man, it would be nice to be here more, to travel here more. And then that moved into, well, what about living here? Wouldn't it be nice? Would it be nice to live here every day, to be here and be a part of the culture and and this weather and the beach and the water, really taking a liking to the beach and the water. I can see doing my podcast down there and shooting videos down there and doing all kinds of things down on the beach. And so what happens is that's turned into my dream because I've been thinking about it so much. And that's one way the dreams come to you as well. Your heart's desires come to you because or or by just consistently speaking itself to you, consistently being on your mind. And so since South Florida has consistently been on my mind, guess what? It is time for me to move into one of my dreams, which is to actually live in Florida. And it's a great time for me. Uh, My son is off in college and doing well and and living his life. And, you know, it's that has kind of been one of the things that I wanted to do. You know, I spent some time in Michigan, seven and a half years in that weather. And so now I'm looking for T-shirt and short weather. So, you know, South Florida is the great place for me. So, again, 
That's just one of my dreams. And it's really important that we listen to the dreams because th our dreams give us fuel. That's what inspires us. Our dreams keep us moving from one thing to the next. Our dreams bring us that extra added happiness. It takes us to places. It, it, it helps us do things. It brings us in touch with people. It allows us to uh, learn new skills and it allows us to help and bond with people all because that little heart's desire is speaking to you. And one of my mentors told me, and I'm probably going to butcher this a little bit, but basically whatever you want actually wants you too. And you're destined to have those things and to be those things and to, to be certain places. But the other side of it is many times it, requires changes it requires us to reach for them it requires sometimes extra effort you know sometimes they come readily come really easily but then sometimes we have to really work and it takes time and we have to really develop them and so i think i've put in time it's been a while it's been a long time and so now it's time for me to go get some of that beach weather so that's top of mind for me that's my dream so what is one of your dreams or what are some of your dreams? What are some of those little heart desires that are speaking to you consistently that if you could, if you could just wake up in the morning and have or be someplace or be with a group of people or help someone or have a certain skill, what would that be? What would those what's that little thing whispering in your ear, in your heart that that vibrates? And so here's a here's a thing that another thing to tell Another way to tell when it's really something that your heart desires and it's how does it make you feel when you think about this thing, this skill, this place, this person, this job, you know, this particular act of whatever you, it is you're thinking about doing when you think about it. How do you feel from your head down to your toe? And if you feel good, if you get those good vibrations, then that means that that's something that you're in alignment with and that you should go after now sometimes our dreams can be so big that they scare us so I want you to identify the difference between a negative feeling and when it's actually just fear popping up because fear still feels good because you might feel the fear and then afterwards you you will still feel good but when it's negative, when it's something that you really don't want or you really it's really not that big a deal to you, you either lukewarm on it or you feel bad. You get that immediate no, like, nah, that's not that's not what I want to do. I want to do something else. So those are some ways just to tell when is when those dreams are authentic to you. So what are some of those dreams? And then the second part of this is let's start taking action toward them. So in my case. I've already started identifying like I know I want to be in South Florida, probably somewhere around the Fort Lauderdale area, but I'm not pinned down into that into that area. So I've already started looking at some short term housing because I don't know exactly what I want and where I want to end up. And I'm also planning a trip pretty soon just to go back down for a weekend for a long weekend where I can just go back around. I've already done this once, but I want to go back because now I'm a lot more serious and I'm a lot more determined to do it that I want to start to look more specifically in areas for apartments, for homes, for condos, just to get an idea of what's available and the prices. So I've got my little cheat sheet down where I'm taking down notes and I'm saving this and looking at that. So I'm doing my research so that when I go back down, I'll have some specific areas and places to check out so that then I can start to make some moves. And then my goal is at the time that I'm recording this, it is actually March. So by the time uh, this summer comes, my goal is by June, July to be down in South Florida, at least part time, maybe full time. And, you know, and there it is. So that's my dream. I'm taking some action, moving toward it. And I'm going to wrap this up because I want you to really think about what your dreams are. What is that little voice speaking to you about? What has it been speaking to you about for a long time? And then. The other side of it is to take action toward it to make it real because, you, we, again, it's your fuel. It wants you. And 
it will make you, it will just, it, it'll be in such alignment with you that again, what this whole podcast is designed to do is create ways, share ways to think and to be and to do that help you feel your very best every single day. And like I can tell, I know for a fact that I'm going to be so excited to wake up in the morning and, and be able to get to the beach, have that warm weather, or be in South Florida, and that Miami vibe. So I'm so looking forward to it that I know it's in alignment with who I am and where I want to be right now. And then, you know, maybe a year from now, maybe that changes because I want to travel the world. So moving to South Florida is just the first step for me. There's a bunch of other things that I'm going to do, but South Florida's first. So what's first for you? What's up for you? Jot it down. Make sure it feels good. It's, you're in alignment with it. You're ready to put in the work, do the research, take those steps, and then make it real. Because remember, whatever you want, wants you. Some of it will be easy. Some of it will be more difficult. But it wants you. It's your dream. It's your heart speaking to you. It's, you're in alignment with it. So now it's time to do. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. Looking forward to speaking with you again a ve- ve- again real soon. Remember, jot down those dreams and make it real. Talk to you later. Bye now. You've been listening to Self Love is the New Sexy with W. Mark Watts. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Also, make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you listen to podcasts.